Hello basketball coaches and basketball players, my name is Alan from Al's Basketball Training and today I'm going to talk to you about the 1-1-2-1 full court press defense. And also, once it has been beaten, a few different zone defenses that you can kind of slide into. Anyways, let's get down to the clipboard and let's check out this full court press. Okay, so I'm just going to show you how uh, many teams are going to try and break a press defense. And the kind of like the, the go-to press break is when you've got two players at half, two players roughly around the free throw line, and then you have your inbounder. Next, we're going to be having on defense, one player up top, one player in the middle, two players uh, right past half, and then one player as our deep defender. Now, the idea how I like to run this full court press is by having the player up top. He is going to be shadowing and trying to not allow the ball to be inbounded. Next, we're going to be having the second player. We do not want him at all to ever go past that free throw line unless, obviously, if we have the ball. Next, we're going to have players four and three, and we do not want them to go past half. The reason why we don't want these players to go past these lines is because if that was to happen, essentially you're allowing the, the, pre the press to be beaten a lot easier. Now, going from there, once they get that ball inbounded, player three is most likely going to then pop into the middle of the court, and they want to reverse the ball quickly so that now they can get that defense to be offset. Well, what they're forgetting is the fact that we know that what they're trying to do, and they're going to reverse the ball, and we're going to have player two not running up to try and defend that player. A few teams do make that mistake. We want player two to go over and defend player one. That way they can't make that reverse. Once player one gets over to defend player three, that's when player two leaves that man, and now he's back down the center of the court. The reason for this is because now they're going to try and reverse the ball or maybe pass back. They're going to try and get that ball towards one of those two players, and if that is to happen, that's really what we want them to do. The reason is, is because in a press defense what you want to happen is for the players to go up the sidelines so that you can trap them along these corners the reason why you want to trap players along the corners is let's say player five has the ball and you've trapped him in that corner you have two players here he can't go forwards he obviously can't go backwards because that would be over and back so that would be a turnover so the only option he would have then is to pass the ball in which case you should have enough coverage here for that not to happen. So it creates a turnover. So what we're going to be looking to do here is have player three, he's going to pass to one of those players. We're then going to have player two move over and defend player one, and player two is going to be moving player one over towards that corner. Once this ball gets past that free throw line extended what I want to have happen is player one to move back and start defending the reverse pass up the middle of the court now what's going to happen is player two is going to be moving player one over and most likely what you're gonna see is either player four move down or he's going to be moving across the court most likely he's going to be moving down and we're gonna be seeing player five show to the middle of the court what I want to see happen now is player 3 to cover player 5, player 5 red to move over to cover the pass to player 4, and now player 4 red, I want him to slowly start moving in so that when player 1 gets past half, we can jump on him. So what we had here was single coverage. A lot of teams will have player 1 move right over and have double coverage here and then have these players still spread out. Now that's something you can run, but if they were to reverse it, if they can reverse it quick enough, we can then have them beat our press defense quite quickly. So by having player one staying back, he is there so that if this ball does get reversed, he can now defend and move the ball up that side a little bit easier. Now going back to having player one with the ball. 
we're going to be having player three red guarding the middle, player five guarding the long pass, player one, he's going to be covering the reverse, and player two is going to be leading player one towards that sideline. Once he is there, and once he's taken one step past, we want player four to then turn and trap player one in that corner. Once player one has gotten past half, we want player one to sprint back and to cover the mid court. Player three is going to slide down, cover the middle here, and player five is going to be carding the baseline or the, the sideline pass here. Now what's going to happen here is hopefully a turnover and if that happens that is a fantastic thing. However, let's say for example they did beat the press. They were they they got us just before they stopped just before we they got to half, they reversed the ball, they got past half. Well, what we now can do is set up a simple 2-3 zone. Now the reason why this sits back easily with the 2-3 zone is because if you really look at the zone itself, the press, all what needs to happen is player 3 needs to move back, player 4 moves back, player 2 fills the top, player 1 fills the top, and now we have ourselves a 2-3 zone. Another option is having a 2-1-2 where we can have player 4 and 3 sit back, player 5 move up towards the middle, and now we have ourselves a nice 2-1-2, unless you're South Korea. Uh, the South Korea national team runs the 2-1-2 with their point guard in the middle because they've got a tall point guard. In a 2-1-2, basically the middle player guards the whole middle, then we have the corner players zoned out to play the, the to zone the corners. So that is this press in a nutshell. So the 1-1-2-1 fits really well into a 2-1-2 half court defense as well as a 2-3. Uh, it also does work really well with my unbeatable basketball defense book. Uh, it's a fantastic zone. Basically, it's double teams from the free throw line and below. So go check that out. The link is in the description below. And I will see you guys again later on today for the second video of the day.